My story begins in 433 AD on the Hill of Slane, 50 kilometers north of Dublin, at the very heart of Ireland. Patrick, St. Patrick, one of the first Christians on the island, is said to have lit the very first Easter fire here. In so doing, he intended to provoke the pagan high king of Ireland and king of Tara. He responded quickly since the hill of Tara was within sight. As a result, the king sent his soldiers to arrest Patrick and his followers. When Patrick arrived at the king's residence, he was questioned by the Druids and soldiers. He was permitted to share his Christian faith. Then the king decided to set him and his followers free. This incident came to signify a victory of Christianity over paganism. Not long after, Patrick founded a church on the Hill of Slane, which later became a monastery. By the time Patrick died in 461 AD, he had stirred thousands of Irish people to turn to the Christian faith. To this very day, Christians recite Patrick's morning prayer, asking God to protect them throughout the day. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me. It's an authentic and genuine Christian life people are longing for, which the early monks' lives exemplified so powerfully. Nowadays, Christianity has lost much of its power and distinctiveness, and therefore people are longing for the uniqueness it once had. The Irish monks were so filled with Jesus Christ's power that they were true disciples. Everything, the whole lives revolved around Christ, and they had the courage to tell the whole world about him. This courage and this power is what people are longing for today.